Okay, everyone, it is episode three. Um, I'm sitting down in a place where my puppy can come and jump up on me whenever she feels like it. I was going to get into a little bit more of my story. So if this is going to be a video that might be hard to hear, um, make sure you're in a good place um, to hear it and or skip by this one entirely. We're now at the stage where um, I have a, a detective that I'm working with and um, the detective is now talking with Children's Aid and um, authorities from the 80s and to see what was um, discussed then about me and um, I think just gathering information that way before uh, he goes to the prosecutor's office to find out whether or not um, charges will be in fact filed against my stepfather and or mother. So it's taken uh, not too much time for him to go through and sort of go through my story and verify a few facts and he has taken the time to interview most people. So uh, I think we're right at the very tail end of um, him taking over the documents to the Crown Attorney's office. And so today is February the 12th. So we should know in a couple of weeks what the next steps are. But I uh, wanted to share that in the beginning, when I was um, nine years old, I, I didn't have a, a father and I didn't have a, a mother who was very constant and there and someone who was always uh, loving. Um, I have a mother who finds it very difficult to love uh, me and um, she is a narcissist. So anything that, um, if you know anything about narcissism, it's a personality disorder and uh, it makes having a relationship with that person extremely difficult. And even being blood related, um, I still did not feel loved by my mother. I'm 55 today and I do not feel loved at all by my mother. And at least now today, I know it's not my fault and it's not something I've done. Uh, I've spent the last um, 50 years of my life trying to get her to love me and uh, for it to be, um, you know, an equal 50-50 relationship. And it's just, uh, no, no matter how I try, regardless of what I did, it's just wouldn't happen, um, didn't happen, hasn't happened, and I don't believe it ever will. So I choose to not have a relationship with my mother after all of this time, really trying to have a relationship with my mom for the past 30 years. I've really, really tried. So when I was nine, my mother met uh, my stepfather uh, nine or 10 years old. And I remember him telling me how absolutely thrilled he was to get a daughter and that um, he was lucky because he wanted to be a father and he wanted, uh, he was lucky because he said I was so bright and I was so beautiful and that having me for a daughter would be the best thing that ever happened to him. And you know, my mother, my brother, and I um, just having our own little family. It was, it was like a dream come true. I, I really could not believe how lucky I was uh, to be getting a stepfather and to have a father figure in my life. I spoke to my new therapist today and Dr. Kate, and uh, she was amazing. And I was explaining this very uh, specific um, part of my grooming where he was he was just so wonderful to me and 
just uh, so adoring, so much attention. Um, and I really felt special. I really felt for the first time what it's like to be wanted or loved. Um, I mean, I got that from my brother all the time. My brother and I were very, very close. However, my mother and I weren't. So it was such a special feeling um, to just know that I was wanted. And he said I can even take his last name if I wanted to. So I thought that was just, just the best thing. So he was 21 at the time that uh, he was seeing my mother. She was in her 30s. And so I was groomed from the time I was um, nine and a half, I, 10 years old, 10 to 11. And eventually they got married. Um, and I was about 10, 10 and a half years old when they got married. And immediately after uh, my mother getting married to him, things changed. Immediately, I was brought into a world of where I knew that uh, I was being looked at as a mature, uh, responsible adult. I was not being viewed as a little girl uh, who I obviously was. I was not being viewed as someone innocent and um, and to be treated as delicately and protectively as, as one should at that age. I went from immediately having a dad to immediately having an abuser. And that lasted for many, many years, sad, sad to say. Um, so it has taken me so many years of um, talk therapy, it's taken me so many years of group therapy and medication to help me uh, get through uh, the litany of memories, the flashbacks, um, the the torture that that I went through, and all of those years, and how it just changed who I was from this really innocent little girl. Uh, to this very confused, very hurt, all alone, misguided, unloved um, child and learning how to grow up very quickly and protect myself um, at any cost is, is what I had to do. So those are uh, some of the things that I had gone through during those two age groups. And the um, abuse was um, absolutely immediate after the uh, wedding. So I did go and speak up and spoke out and told my story. And uh, I, I was, uh, uh, talking to the police and I was talking to children's aid. However, my stepfather called me and told me to um, recant my story immediately or he would hurt my brother. So upon arriving home from uh, telling my story, um, I know that uh, my stepfather was supposed to be out of the house. Um, he was not. He was in the house and my brother was not at home. So my stepfather said, you know, horrible words and said, you have to say what a liar you are. And, and I went along with him and said, yes, I, I was this big slut and this whore and this liar. And I made the whole thing up just so I thought the whole family depended on me and uh, my ability to keep my brother safe from harm. So uh, it's taken me quite a few years to get to this good place of mental health. And it's going to take me uh, a little bit longer to get through the journey of the court system. So I will uh, keep you posted and I will put up another episode. So this is episode number, I think this is episode three. 
and uh, I will get into episode four with uh, um, some more clues and um, insight to my therapy session today because it was pretty excellent. Okay, I will see everyone in the next video. Bye.